Hi, you're watching the weekly technology news by FinancialMirror.tv. This week we are going to look at two mobile phones, fierce competitors of Apple's iPhone. I'm going to start with a hot favorite, the HTC Touch HD. The Touch HD is HTC's finest Windows mobile phone yet. It's got a whopping 3.8 inch VGA screen with 65,000 color, which as the numbers tell you, is bigger than the iPhone's 3.5 inch display. It's got GPS, HSDPA, Wi-Fi, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. HD supports a 5 megapixel autofocus camera with nice image quality. The downside is they still haven't managed to include a flash with the camera to enhance picture quality in the dark. In HD's package, you'll find an 8GB micro SD card to store all the music videos and files you want. The main disadvantage is it's a bit overweight, video recording maxes out at CIF 30 frames per second, there's no dedicated camera key and no TV out port. According to a review made by the reputable gsmarina.com, the Touch HD is guaranteed to change the way people think of Windows Mobile. However, there are still quite a number of performance issues, but the problems of Windows operating system are far too deep to disappear overnight. Still, if modding and tweaking is your game, you can fix quite a lot of the issues that come out of the box. Just Google your problem and I'm sure you'll find a reasonable solution. Overall, the Touch HD is a great effort from HTC, demonstrating that it can still put more into its already formidable range of high-end handsets. We here certainly recommend the Touch HD. Now let's continue with the Samsung Omnia i900. I've got to say, the Omnia is a good effort from Samsung in the Windows Mobile category. The Omnia is the first 5 megapixel Windows Mobile camera phone, has a much faster processor speed than the HTC Touch HD, but has much less RAM compared to the HD. They both are quad band with 3G and HSDPA support. The Omnia has a 3.2 inch display and as mentioned above has a 5 megapixel camera with flash. It's got autofocus with wide dynamic range mode, face tracking, smile detection, geotagging. For storage purposes it has a built in 8 to 16 gigabytes with micro SD expansion. Other features include TV out, solid build and great finish, slick design and slim body and a good battery life. However, according to gsmarina.com, the main disadvantages are no stylus slot, poor sunlight legibility, memory card not hot swappable, non-standard display resolution, no dedicated 3D accelerator, non-standard USB port and web browser lacks real flash support. The Omnia is a good alternative to the HTC Touch Diamond with a competitive price at 500 euros, though Samsung does need to work on the interface to improve its consistency and usefulness. Overall, the Omnia is a well-balanced product that seems in for some major success on the market. That's it for now. Tune in for next week and thank you for watching FinancialMirror.tv.